Hi, everybody. I'm excited to introduce to you our next speakers, Sassy. She's the founder and lead instructor at EduSeed and has a decade of experience in developing educational applications. Her flagship app, Pocket Aptitude, was ranked among the top 25 apps in education in 2013 and has been downloaded more than, by more than 2 million users in the Play Store and Apple Store. Today, her talk will look at creativity through a different lens, the lens of Python programming, and how Python acts as a canvas, allowing kids to express their ideas through code. Please give a warm welcome. Imagine kids having the power to convert their ideas to reality with just a few lines of code. Hello, everyone. I'm excited to present my talk on a topic that resonates with many of us, creativity in children. Today, we will look at creativity through a different lens, the lens of Python programming. Programming is definitely not the first word that comes to our mind when we think of creativity, especially for kids. Yet, coding can be a useful tool for self-expression, creativity, and imagination. Python is a powerful way to expand and ignite young minds. Python acts as a magical key that opens doors of endless possibilities for children. But why Python? Why should kids get started with Python? Python has a simple syntax. It does not have a lot of complex rules, unlike other programming languages. Python's code is easily readable. Python has a lot of applications. This versatility, simplicity, and readability makes it an ideal choice for young learners to get started with Python. But how does it boost creativity? We all know that children love to experiment, express, and explore. Python helps them achieve all these three. Today, we will outline how all these three things are achieved and can be achieved with Python. Kids are naturally curious. They want to experiment, try out different things. Imagine a child who loves animals, is always fascinated by them and keeps collecting animal facts. Once he starts learning coding, he wanted to create a game which exposes his love for animals to the world. And the result is this. We had a student who, was, who had a great love for animals. He collected a lot of animal sounds and created an interactive quiz which lets the user guess what sound was that. So here this kid converted his love for animals into an idea for a game and coded it using Python. We had a student who loved solving the Wordle game in the New York Times. One, one day, she asked us if it was possible for her to create one such game using Python. We gave her a few steps to get her started on that. And with a little guidance from our end, she was able to create this. She had a list of five-letter words being fed into her program. And she created the logic for Wordle using the Python Deaconter module for creating desktop applications and created her own version of a mini Wordle game. When a love for animals and a love for word puzzles can be converted into reality, what not can be done. The second is the freedom of expression. When given a white paper, we know kids start drawing whatever comes to their mind. The same way Python is a canvas for kids to paint their ideas and thoughts using code. The turtle library in Python is a fantastic tool for creativity. It lets kids create their own shapes, patterns, drawings. They are able to vary the colors, uh, the line thickness and do a lot of drawings using this. This encourages them to bring their artistic talents into a whiteboard. These are some of the drawings that have been achieved by our kids. W using turtle, they are able to draw spirals, square spirals, say hexagonal spirals, floral patterns, even fractal drawings using the recursion, mandala art, 
So all these, they're able to apply whatever coding concepts have been learned. They've been able to apply that and create drawings using Turtle. The colorful platform gives them a white canvas to paint whatever they want. This gives them the freedom of expression to present their ideas. This again is a powerful tool in Python. The second uh, library that helps kids express themselves is the Pi game. And the beginner version of it is Pi Game Zero. Using Pi Game Zero, kids can create fun 2D games which incorporate character movement like collecting coins, gathering collectibles, in which the sprite can cross obstacles, go to different levels, switch environments. This, we, we've all seen that kids love playing games, but imagine giving them a tool to create their own game. They keep adding sound effects, background music, their animations. They can even create their own character that can be used in the game. They can also decide whether they should interact with the game using a keyboard, mouse or a gamepad. They're also able to uh, design and develop different levels, different environments, which make the game more exciting and engaging. Having uh, played a lot of games, they would have had their own thoughts in mind to create their own game. And when we teach them coding, they're able to incorporate all their learnings and present and express their thoughts as a game using Pygame Zero. They can also learn to, they've also learned recreating classic games like Brick Breakout, Space Invaders, but with a, sim, with a smaller tweak, like uh, changing the colors, adding a different sprite, giving a different sound, creating newer uh, levels. So they are able to even recreate that with their own creativity. And this animation was created by a student who loved penguins. So she wanted to uh, set up a scene change animation wherein the penguin, we were able to uh, move the penguin using arrow keys. When the penguin reached one end of the scene, the entire scene changed and the penguin was coming out of the other end. So this kind of a scene change and uh, animation was again implemented using Pygame Zero. So all these, we just teach them coding and they come up with so many different ideas expressing their thoughts. So here, Python gives them the freedom of expression, which again makes it a powerful tool to ignite creativity in children. The third way in which Python promotes creativity is by letting kids explore and promoting a growth mindset in them. Python promotes this by encouraging kids to embrace challenges, persist through mistakes, and celebrating smaller progress. Its easy syntax and wide applications makes it an ideal tool for nurturing this growth mindset in kids. Imagine a student building a simple calculator project using Python. Initially, he encountered a lot of errors, such as incorrect outputs, missing indentations, missing colon, and logical errors. But the clear error messages from Python guided him towards resolving these issues, turning mistakes into valuable learning opportunities. Each correction he made reinforced the idea that growth happens through perseverance. A chatbot's learning process can excellently demonstrate how Python promotes a growth mindset as both rely on iterative improvement and learning from feedback. When students create a chatbot in Python, they start with simple if-else conditions to respond to user inputs. For example, if the user says hi, the chatbot re responds with hello. As they test their chatbot, they quickly realize the limitations. It cannot understand variations of hi. Maybe they say hey, hi there, which increases the number of conditions. This sparks a curiosity in them and they get a desire to improve and improvise their chatbot. This makes them explore concepts like natural language processing using different Python libraries. Just like how a chatbot learns and refines its responses based on user inputs, students improve and improvise their code by analyzing its behavior and incorporating new logic to it. When the chatbot misunderstands and misinterprets an input, students learn to debug and refine their algorithms. This 
enables them to discover new tools in their learning process. All these demonstrate how Python stimulates creativity in children and nurturing creativity in children empowers them to think innovatively, approach challenges with curiosity and helps them develop effective original solutions to anything that they encounter. We've always associated creativity with thinking outside the box. Today, I have a different perspective to this. Creativity is not always thinking outside the box. Sometimes it is about finding solutions within a set of constraints. This can be very powerful in building problem-solving skills and encouraging using resources in a limited way. Python encourages this approach by presenting kids with structures like conditionals, loops, functions within which they work and learn to create something unique. For example, when a child builds a calculator or chatbot as we discussed, they are given a specific rules, syntax or a set of conversation patterns that they will be able to follow. But they learn to use these rules to make the project interactive, engaging for the user. In this way, Python teaches kids to use constraints as creative fuel, challenging them to explore the boundaries of what is possible and come up with solutions with whatever resources they have. This makes them and learn to think inside the box and this promotes their problem-solving skills. They learn to work creatively within the limits. We also see that Python is uh, not only promotes kids to be programmers, but they also learn to uh, change abstract concepts that are available in other fields into coding challenges. For example, kids who learn coding may uh, visualize a science concept like creating a gravity simulator or visualizing a coordinate system in math by um, creating code that exhibits these. Or a child who's interested in linguistics may come up with word puzzles, word games, a kid who's a good storyteller and a narrator can uh, create their own plot, character, backdrops and design their story using code. Imagine a child who comes up with a storytelling project where the course of the story changes based on user choices. So this makes the kid uh, think in varying dimensions as to when the user chooses a particular input, they, change the, they keep changing the course of the story. This kid may in future become a writer, a director, and whatnot. So coding is just a starting point for the children. A child who is interested in art may keep drawing various art patterns. A child who is interested in music can generate sounds of varying frequencies using Python. Overall, Python provides children an exposure to different domains. Every great idea begins with a spark and the spark that we can provide to the children is learning python as we wrap up it is clear that python is more than a programming language it is a tool for imagination creativity and resilience through projects games and simple smaller applications kids learn to test their ideas face challenges and believe in their potential to create by introducing children to Python. We are not just teaching them to code. We are empowering them to become confident thinkers, problem solvers, and future innovators. The skills they learn today will become the foundation for whatever they wish to pursue in the future, maybe in technology, arts, or science. Thank you, everyone, for your time. And I hope you are as excited as me to see what our young minds will create with the power of Python. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sashi, for that insightful presentation. Your expertise and passion for this topic has been truly inspiring.